these guys. We want them in Vegas, and they fool us. Yeah! That was absolutely amazing. Yes. Yep, this Swedish magical duo has impressed some pretty tough judges all over the world. Now they are ready to step out into the spotlight in New York City with their show, Stalker. Please welcome Peter Brinoff and Jonas Young. Great to have both of you here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. First season of Penn & Teller, Fool Us, you fooled the two of them. That is no easy task to do. We've had wow. many a magician on who have not <laughs> fooled them, but you guys did it. Uh, how'd that feel? Uh, well, that was amazing. Yeah. I think it was like one of the first uh, major events or major things we did uh, internationally as well. So that was like, uh, that mean, was we, a huge We stuff. grew up with them on TV. Yes. They are they are so great. So it, it's fine. it actually felt kind of special. Yeah. yeah what, was the, what was the trick? What did you do? I mean, you don't have to tell well, yeah, the, the world's, what was it? Yeah, the world's most difficult country. He hurt mm. me. Like yeah. and he hurt you. Yes, yeah, and uh, we played it happy music. Yep, that's, that's basically <laughs> it. Oh, wow. How long have the two of you been uh, performing magic? Oh, for a long time now. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, we started out together, I think, 2004, 2005, okay. something like that. Yeah. But prior to that, maybe 10, 15 years. Wow. Uh, yeah. So wow. before that, so yeah, it's. It's been a while. It's almost 40 years combined. Uh, uh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, would th I would think that performing a magic trick on your own is difficult enough, but to have to coordinate magic, is it harder or um, easier to do something? I would with say it, it becomes more interesting because uh, most like stage arts are performed with um, like several individuals on the stage, and you get some sort of dynamic out of that. Yeah. Mm. So I would yeah. um, good question, but I, I think. Uh, it makes the show more interesting. Mm. Also, in the in the process of, of creating, uh, the creative process, so to speak, is much easier being two yeah, instead absolutely. of thinking your own thoughts for three yeah. months and then like discard them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Instead, he can say, "No, that's bad." Yeah, you know. And I can't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Jew as well. You know yes. this. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, no freaking frack here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's. Penn and Teller are the producers behind your show too, Stalker, right? Because they believe in you so much. Yeah. Uh, so what exactly can people expect from the show? It's a very unusual magic show. It's okay. somehow minimalistic. We don't have boxes, we don't have magic props, but we do have like a huge camera production. So mm. it's like a very modern show. It feels pretty much, uh, when you're in the audience, it feels like you're in a TV show. Okay. Like it's, you're participating in a TV show. I would say oh. it's a very interactive show. We use oh. a lot of people on stage. I love and that. Off stage, so maybe 40 people, something like that. Really? Out of the, Whoa. And like, for, so for a show? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So approximately 10%. We play some of sort of role. <laughs> and uh, we have, like, when we read uh, reviews on the, on, online right now, mm -hmm. people are saying, it must be plants, but it can't be plants. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, there are no plants. Right. And, yeah, um, yeah. so, like, a, a, a small suggestion, uh, come early for the show, uh, before it actually starts, because there is something going on before the show starts, oh. and then you can ensure there are no plans, and you can ensure, oh. maybe, to be the one who gets up on stage. I love Ooh. that. <laughs> That's fine. Well, well, from what we understand, you have something to show us today. Yeah, sure, we would love to. Oh, yeah, we'd love to see it. Who, who's the, who's uh, the most decisive of you two, oh. what are you saying? Me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Then He's the it. most scared, but I'm the most. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do this. I get scared of everything. Now okay. we are going to try and put a thought in your mind, in your head. Okay. And your job is simply put to make your own decisions. Okay. And we brought ten Polaroids. I'm going to show those to you. Once you've seen them all, I want you to make a conscious choice of one of those. Okay. 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 And me and Jonas, we kind of know which picture you will choose. Yeah, we already decided. So okay. let's do this. Okay. Are you ready? First yeah. one says, pick me. <laughs> this could also be like reverse psychology. Maybe we don't want you to pick this one. Yeah, okay. but then we wouldn't say that. Okay. Next one <laughs> says, don't pick me. Yeah, okay. so totally opposite round. Mm -hmm. Now, we talk a lot and we didn't say anything, just put it down. That's. That's questionable. You okay. want her to pick it now or during no, the end? No, afterwards. After, yeah. And so not tell you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not, to, not for now. And you will not pick one with a cross on it. Yeah. I can tell you that. You will not pick a picture with a cross on it. Okay. No way. Mm. We have a yes. If you're a positive person. Okay. We also have a no. If you're a negative person. <laughs> pick the next picture. Oh, mm. that, that's a clear instruction. That's nice. <laughs> 
but then it says pick the last picture. Oh, oh. so it complicates things oh again. Yeah, it does. And everyone picks the last one. Why? Mm. Because it's a cute kitten. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. She looks like my kitty. Yeah, so nine boring signs uh, and, and one cute kitten. Don't be so obvious. Don't pick the kitten. Now, okay. it's up to you. So take your right index finger, hold it up in the air like this. Look over the pictures one last time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to count from three to zero, and on zero, you put down your finger on the picture you have chosen. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, zero. Do it. Yeah. And you just slide it out, slide it out. Okay. Great. Perfect. So you actually went for the no. Mm -hmm. yes. That's interesting. Now, we have something to talk about that we didn't mention earlier. Because we've been talking about the fronts of the, those pictures. The backs are normally totally interesting, uninteresting because they are blanks. Oh. Oh now, we made a small it, mark yeah, on just one... Just a small, small, small mark. Could you please turn it over? Oh my gosh. And thank you for playing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thanks a lot. That is amazing. <laughs> that's How? good. Wow, that's nuts. That's good. Oh my gosh. And I intentionally picked that one because I'm not a negative person. Right, 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 I right. I chose positive. We so. know. That's good, <laughs> guys. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Have you been doing magic since you were kids, too? Or did it something Like, pretty new? much we got interested uh, on... Um, in Magic, but we didn't know how to proceed. Mm. So uh, it wasn't in our like late teens that we actually started it, uh, doing it for real. So your friends, relatives? We, we, we actually, no, we, we became, became friends, friends because of the Magic. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Through the Magic community in Gothenburg in, uh, in Sweden. Yeah. So to, Peter wow. became really good yeah. uh, at this stuff. I became really good and we found each other. That's I, amazing. I'm just trying to figure oh. it out. I don't know. You have to think hard. I'm yeah. thinking really hard. <laughs> We're actually, I know my, my, forgot my, brain, forgot my right. brain at home today. Yeah. You guys are amazing. Thanks Thank, for coming on. Thank you so much. Come back and share yes. another yeah, magic Yeah, we would love it. We will, of course. Oh, yeah.